Hi, I was requested if I could show you how to create a custom Langchain data loader. I will show you how to implement a loader that loads text and CSV files from a folder and its subfolders. We will use best practices of software engineering and implement this loader with a strategy pattern to achieve this. The strategy pattern is a behavior pattern that encapsulates a behavior in a superclass and allows the implementation of this behavior to be varied in subclasses without changing the interface. I'm currently in VS Code and as you can see I've got an IPython notebook open. You can get the link to the repository where you can find the IPython notebook in the description. And first we're gonna install Langchain. And after installing Langchain we take a look at the text loader and the CSV loader. Let's just have a look at the CSV loader first. And as you can see the CSV loader is a class that inherits from the base loader class. Each custom loader implements the base loader interface and the loader class has got a load functionality. This loader method has to be implemented by each loader. As you can see in the base loader we've got an abstract method which is load. So every loader that implements the base loader interface has to define a custom load functionality. So this is done in the CSV loader and this is also done in the text loader. This text loader also implements a load method. So what's the implication of this? The implication is that we can't use multiple inheritance to create a new class that allows us to load CSV files and text files because we've got a single load method and we can't use it from multiple parent classes. To overcome this issue we can use a strategy pattern and change the loader at runtime. So we've got a custom loader class now and initially we don't have a loader attribute initialized. So when we run the load method, we identify in the file path if the file path ends with .csv, then we will use a csv loader and set it to the loader attribute. Otherwise we will set it as the text loader. So for each of the files, we can use the load method, just identify the file ending and then use the correct loader to actually load the document. And we are guaranteed that this load method here always works because we know that all of the loaders implement the load interface. So to be honest, I'm not really happy with the CSV loader provided here by Langchain. And the issue is for me that I don't like the way this content is structured because it takes all of the rows and creates the content of the document from it. But normally I only expect my content to be in a single row. So I don't normally use the CSV loader from Langchain, but implement my own loader. So the loader kind of works the same, but as you can see here is the most important difference. We've got one row and we pass in the column name during instantiation of this loader. I call it single column CSV loader and we only take in the content from this row. We make the metadata docs a little bit more verbose. We use the timestamp to actually save the creation date of this document and we also use the content itself in the metadata. So this is the way I prefer my documents to look like and I will use this custom uh, single CSV loader here. As you can see, I also implement the base loader. So I call my method here also load because I have to implement this abstract method from the base loader class. The single column CSV loader is currently only able to handle a single file and this is why I want to create another class which implements or which uses this a single CSV loader. As you can see, this is the way it currently works. You have to pass a file path and we use the restaurant.csv file. We use a column name and we can see we've got the answer column here. And this is the content column we will use uh, as the document content. And we also pass in CSV arcs, for example, this delimiter here. And then let's try it out. I will just load all of the stuff here because I actually didn't run the code so far. And as you can see, or as you should see now, we will get some documents here. Yeah, that's how it works. And we've only got the content from the answer column here as page content in the documents class. Okay, let's use the single column CSV loader now in another class. And I created another class called directory loader. This is also a custom implementation of the directory loader. There's also one from Langchain. And this only allows to take a single subclass, but this allows us to change the actual loaders here at runtime. So this is the implemented strategy pattern here. And this also inherits from the base loader, so we implement 
the load method for this directory loader tool. What we're going to do now is we pass in a single directory during instantiation and then we loop over the directory recursively and extract every file and we check if the file ends with .csv. We take in the single column csv loader and if the file ends with .txt we will use the text loader. Otherwise we will just not process the file and continue in the loop. Then we load all of the documents with the load method here. And again, we know that this load method works because we know that each of these loader here implement the base loader interface. At the end, we extend the docs list here. This is an empty list at the beginning with the loaded documents. And at the end, we return this list of documents. So now let's use it. As you can see, I've used my directory loader by instantiating it. And we use the current working directory and then uh, append the data path here. This is where all of the files are stored. As you can see, we've got a folder A, we've got a folder B and a folder C with a CSV file and a PDF file. This should not be processed, of course. And we also pass in the CSV arcs. We pass it just from the directory loader down to the single column CSV loader. So this is important that all of the arguments actually are used in the classes where we want to have them. So we pass it here as the quarks. So let's try it out. We first have to instantiate or create the directory loader, it's then instantiate it here, and then just run the load method. And here we should see a list of documents. And as you can see here, we've got our documents and we can also see, do not process the file. You can see this is the PDF file. This should not be processed. Everything works as expected. And yeah, that's the custom implementation of a directory loader and a single column CSV loader. If you find that interesting, give the video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.